man without a penis is given a bionic one that will give him a 10 day erection. A British man who was born without a penis is getting ready to lose his virginity after being equipped with a bionic penis. Andrew Wardle successfully underwent the final stage of a 50,000 pounds penile implant operation at London's University Hospital on Friday and has been given the go ahead to finally have sex for the first time in his life. The 44 year old will have an erection for the next 10 days as a test run, before his implant is deflated. Doctors have told Andrew he must then wait six weeks before he's allowed to have sex with his long term girlfriend Federi Fabian. The positive for the plasty operation, which involves having a pump fitted to create an erection, will allow Andrew to feel sensation like any other man. He told Mail Online, I'm very excited that I can move on now. But I think having sex for the first time is more of a big deal for everyone else than it is for me. I've spent 44 years without a penis and I've coped with not having sex for all that time. It will take me a while to get in the swing of things. Of course, I'm looking forward to it. But, for me, it's not the be all and end all. It's a byproduct of the operation. It will enable me to feel part of society. I'm very aware that I am half human half robot at the moment. I'm like the bionic man. I will even be able to perform if I am drunk. Andrew, from Manchester, was born with bladder X strophe, a rare birth defect that means the organ formed on the outside of his body. Although he has testicles, the 1 in 20 million condition meant Andrew was born without a penis. He underwent surgery as a child to create an artificial opening, and then a further 15 surgeries since then to build a tube from his bladder so he could pass water normally, and as a result has suffered from kidney problems. His rare birth defect led Andrew to attempt suicide but in 2012 he was given hope after being referred to Dan Wood a consultant urologist at UCLH in London. He said, My GP knew about my depression and suicide attempts. She told me, You can't live like this. I thought, I've heard all this before, but she actually got in touch with Mr. Wood and said, I've got a guy who wants to meet you. I went down to London and I was so skint I had to sleep on the streets. But it was worth it. Until then everybody had said, I can't do anything. But he said, I can build you a new bladder and my friend can build you a penis. Andrew had his first operation to remove his urostomy bag, his urine had been diverted into a specially converted stoma, in February 2014. He now has a mitrophanov, or catheter, to enable him to go to the toilet. Then, in November 2015, Andrew had surgery to build a penis from the skin, muscles and nerves in his left arm and the vein in his right leg. Andrew said a surgeon in America told him he likely had the most expensive penis in the world, saying that it would easily be worth a million dollars, the world's most expensive penis. Now he is planning to lose his virginity on holiday with Fedra, with whom he lives in Manchester. If you have a story for our news team, email us at webnews at metro.co.uk. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.